Hello everyone. So I'm Sankal Dyal, a final year student of computer science. And today we are going to share the interview experiences for the company society general. And here we have Nagasai with us. So he'll be sharing all of his details uh, from the coding rounds till the interviews, like final selections and all of his suggestions that you can be, uh, that you can take and it can be helpful for you in your preparation. So we'll start with a brief introduction. So can you introduce yourself? Yeah. So uh, my name is Nagasai Shemuka Srinivas and I am pursuing my final year B.Tech uh, from BIT University Vellore and CSC specialization in information security. And few months back, I've been placed at Society General, which is called as Fogchen, uh, as a full-time software engineer. And here I am with Sankal Bayal to uh, share my interview experience with you guys. Okay, so uh, now if we talk about the total number of applicants that applied to this company, and uh, like the total number of selections that this company made. So can you share something on this? Yeah, so the total number of people uh, who got shortlisted for the first round was, uh, who actually who were eligible for the first round was uh, seven, uh, 754 members. And uh, the CGPA cutoff was around uh, six, uh, they mentioned the CGPA cutoff was six, but uh, it may be higher than that. Yes, yes, okay. And the total number of selections? Uh, the total number of selections uh, uh, who got the offer were 43 members. Okay. And who shortlisted for the coding round was uh, around 120 members. Okay. Okay. So, uh, like if we talk about the CGPA, like how much role CGPA plays on this selection and in the interviews and in the final selection? Okay. My CGPA was around 8.87. And uh, the cutoff was around uh, eight, I guess, because only 754 people were shortlisted for the online test. Uh, so. Okay. Okay. So uh, if we talk about the coding round that this company took, so like what are the topics and what is the pattern of this coding round and how many, uh, like how much time was given for this coding round? Yeah. For this coding round, there were uh, uh, the total time of one hour, 45 minutes. Uh, it consists of uh, MCQs of uh, core concepts of our computer science and some uh, English and there were three coding questions. Sir. Okay. And the timing was one, for, one hour 45 minutes. One hour 45 minutes. Okay. And... Okay. And uh, after that, uh, we had four interviews. So... Uh, can you tell something about the interviews, like how it was and how it processed, progressed? Yeah. So my first interview was a uh, uh, was of one year experience, and uh, he he was from the data analyst uh, data. He works as a data analyst there. So as my project were on that topic, he mainly asked me first question. He asked me was to introduce me about it about myself, okay. and after that uh, he directly jumped towards my data analyst project which I did as a part of my internship and the entire discussion went through it on the project which I did in my internship and after that uh, uh, in the last uh, I guess last 10 minutes he asked me uh, some uh, coding questions or like basic questions like uh, uh, how much sort works and how intuition sort works and he asked me to uh, write the code of it okay. and uh, in the next round, uh, uh, manage it was a managerial round uh, where he was of 15 years of experience, the, the member who interviewed me. And he again uh, drilled to my resume and he asked me about my projects, uh, about my internship, what I did. And uh, uh, he asked me deep into my depth, uh, in-depth knowledge. He was looking for the in-depth knowledge in my, uh, in my project, which I did. And uh, that's all. Uh, it and he, at the end he asked me some uh, puzzles, uh, which were uh, uh, very easy actually. So the puzzles uh, which can be easy to find in it. Yeah. So after that, uh, it was second manager. Uh, I, I I can say this as a technical also, but uh, where he asked me, uh, he surprisingly asked me with a coding question. Uh, where uh, he, which he did not ask me in the first interview also, like technical interview also. 
he asked me a larger series of histogram question okay and uh, after that uh, after solving that then uh, he asked me uh, some basic questions like what situational questions like how do you behave in this kind of situation uh, and some puzzles okay that's what my uh, managerial round two and after that managerial round he asked me then the hr called me uh, she was super chill and she asked me uh, uh, like basic things like what do you do in this uh, same as uh, managerial kind of questions okay and uh, after that she asked me uh, um, uh, what are uh, shifts like are you comfortable with any shifts and uh, uh, yeah that's all and yeah that's the questions that were asked uh, in the hr round and the thing is special about the society general recruiting thing process is uh, the university does not uh, declare our results first first they video called our parents and uh, yeah. uh, through our parents we came to know that we got selected that's the yeah. funny part so that was your, the unique thing for this company which like yeah. generally the company does not do yeah, yeah. So, okay so this was all the uh, interview rounds so basically we had one technical round two managerial rounds and the final one was hr so this is yeah. four interviews round four interviews and first was the coding round so in total we had five rounds yeah. now if we move further with the strategies that helped you in preparing for this company and helped you in cracking this company so which you can share yeah so uh, when the world comes to strategies we have to mainly focus on uh, time uh, how quickly are we uh, solving the questions uh, so developing that means we have to practice gradually uh, the how coding and to that uh, it automatically develops and the main strategy which i used was uh, solving the mcqs uh, quickly because uh, at the end there will be more time for the coding question so i solved the uh, mcqs quickly and then i moved to uh, the coding questions which were three so this is the strategy which i used in uh, sock gens interview okay okay so uh, we have one thing that is called peer coding so yeah. how can like how you use this and how it was useful for your uh, selection yeah so uh, peer coding it, it, i guess it plays a crucial role uh, in one's life preparing for the online interviews or uh, coding interviews uh, which i was i used to do like uh, there were uh, two people in my batch where we used to code uh, a same problem at a time and when we are struck uh, we used to, when the other person solved we used to learn from them so in the same way this uh, peer coding also played uh, a crucial role like how to think and how to solve by looking at others how they are competing uh, in this way uh, you can say that peer coding also helps uh, one to uh, um, crack the interviews okay so like peer coding is also very useful if you want to clear any company and it is really very helpful for your preparation duration like when you are yeah. preparing so now if we talk about the clubs and chapters that are like present in most of the colleges so like how they are useful in the selection process and how they like help the students in cracking the interviews hmm. so uh, in my case i was been part of a music club since i joined the college uh, i can say that uh, it helped me a bit uh, in the interview process uh, but not technically uh, i got to learn i got to I got a chance to work with uh, team members and manage the club, etc. So where I got a skill to uh, uh, manage the group, like how to contribute as a group member. So this is the skill which I got. But in the college, having joined into the technical group will be beneficial because uh, where you get a uh, at, where you get a chance to boost your resume up. uh if you were working in uh, some club and chapter which works on technical knowledge there uh, you must have some knowledge developed uh, and where you got a chance to work on some of the projects different that on your resume uh, which will be an edge and uh, high high chances of getting you prefer than other students okay so that's great that if you are in a part of club or chapter it is really helpful for your interviews also now in this uh, duration like all the interviews are virtually conducted so uh, what do you feel like 
are they beneficial or do you have some demerits that uh, like if we compare it with the on campus interviews yeah so uh, i in my opinion i find virtual interviews are far smoother than the on campus interviews uh, because we will be uh, entirely in our comfort zone and uh, will be around our home so there will not be any tensions around us but uh, in in on campus interviews that's not the case we have to go face the interviewer and we have to code in front of him so it will be in some nervousness and uh, yeah there were some disadvantages of the uh, a virtual interviews also because they will not be eye to eye contact uh, with the interviewer and uh, we can't impress the interviewer as much as we are doing in the on campus interviews so if uh, this develop in in the virtual interviews i guess uh, virtual interviews will be the future of the interviews which we are taking yeah yeah okay so uh, basically virtual interviews are better because we are already in our comfort zone like from our home we can do this we can attend this but the lack that is the communication because we are not able to maintain the eye contact so yeah. these are the demerits for this but overall it is uh, helpful like if we compare it on all the aspects yeah. now if we talk about the things like uh, some of the things that we can do in our college uh, to be more productive and to help our, our resume or to help our profile so that we are like given a priority in the selections yeah so uh, the first thing when you come to college we have to do is we have to maintain some uh, good seniors who are uh, already focusing on that and who are developing on that and the next things are uh, from the joining of the first year if you want to sit for the placement then you have to focus on the resume part like uh, how how well i can develop my resume and what are the things i can participate in the college or uh, what programming contest i can take part which will be the beneficial to our resume so in my view yeah we have to focus on uh, projects academic projects which we are doing and work experience which we get uh, on working from those and uh, or working from the other companies and uh, any achievements we got uh, uh, in uh, working in in our college uh, participating in uh, some contest or something uh yeah in this way we can be more productive uh for better results of our placement first thing is maintaining a maintaining connections with our seniors uh, is the key okay so uh like uh, uh, can you tell me like how m- the like how much important it is to maintain a good projects or to have some work experience or a good resume because these are very important for the company and they also yes. see these things uh, during the selection so mm. yeah so uh, when it comes to a uh, placement the main thing the interviewer sees is your resume uh, everything is your resume so a resume has to imply what you are studying what you did in, in this four years of your btech so uh, in th- when we think in this way we can easily say that uh, resume plays a crucial role uh, in our selection process and for some uh, slot one companies so there will be resume resume hiring too like resume shortlisting too so when it comes to better resume we, we must uh, have included some uh, good projects in it uh, or the uh, big projects which we are uh, doing like real time application kind of projects and uh, and some solving uh, different kind of technologies or uh, digging deeper into different kind of technologies and working on those and uh, yeah those uh, projects will be uh, beneficial if uh, we keep if we keep that in our resume and when it we comes to a uh, work experience work experience also plays a crucial role because uh, to work experience you got to know how to work as a member in a company like you already have an exposure of working as a team member with a particular group of people and contributing them so when the interviewer comes to you and if there is a competition between a fresher and the experienced guy he obviously will prefer experience so we can easily say that um, uh, the uh, work experience also plays a crucial role uh, when it comes to uh, the judgment of the individual in the hiring okay. process okay so like it was a very good discussion and if you want to share any final tips for the juniors who are currently watching this video yeah 
for the juniors i would like to give an advice that uh, please talk, uh, always maintain connection with the good seniors who are working there and uh, and i would like to say that you have to focus more not only more not only on these uh, technical side you have to focus more on uh, how to improve your communication skills also where uh, this also plays a crucial role uh, in your hiring process because uh, you can uh, always you need to communicate with the other people or the interviewer when you are uh, having the interview so yeah that's what you need to know how to attack the interviewer and how to make an impression on him uh, so it will be beneficial when you are uh, uh, undergoing the placement process and uh, i would like to also add that uh, have a smile when you are uh, uh, giving any interviews and also uh, uh, think out loud when you are solving the problems uh, when you are solving a coding question think out loud what you are thinking and explain the interviewer like i'm thinking this way if you are going the other way the interviewer will automatically guide you to the right path uh, so focus on uh, other communication skills also more okay so that's for, that was the entire dis uh, discussion for this company and hope you like this video so if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe the channel for more such videos and we'll meet in the another video till then goodbye